The tropical savanna. Worldwide, it stretches out over two billion hectares. The great savanna, or Cerrado of Brazil, was once considered a barren land. At the end of the 20th century, 30 years of hard work bore fruit. This area was transformed into one of the world's leading agricultural production regions. It was a historic challenge that required investment and technology from Japan and close collaboration by Japan and Brazil. And now the same two countries are working on an exciting new program. The setting is Mozambique, Africa. A new challenge begins for the sake of the next generation in Japan, Brazil, Mozambique, and the world. The Agricultural Development Cooperation in the African Tropical Savanna Program has now begun. September 17, 2009, in Maputo, Mozambique's capital. This is IAM, the Agricultural Research Institute of Mozambique. A signing ceremony is held between Japan, Brazil, and Mozambique. The three nations will work together for agricultural development on a scale that's never been seen before in the African savanna. Mozambique is in the southeast of Africa. After over 300 years as a colony, it achieved independence in 1975. It immediately fell into a civil war. When that ended in 1992, Mozambique was considered one of the world's poorest countries. But in less than 20 years, it has undergone astonishing reconstruction. A population of 22 million lives in a country approximately twice the size of Japan. Redevelopment can be seen everywhere in the capital, Maputo. But life in rural areas is still tough. The three nations want to improve life for people here. The goal of the Agricultural Development Cooperation in the African Tropical Savanna Program is a contribution to regional and global food security. The port of Nakala lies 1,500 kilometers northeast of the capital. Boasting an excellent, very deep natural harbor, Nakala is a major port supporting the economy of northern Mozambique. The major imports are wheat, rice, and cement. Exports include lumber, iron ore, and sesame seeds. Two hundred and fifty kilometers inland from Nakala port is Mozambique's third largest city, Nampula. This route is called the Nakala Corridor and extends to Malawi and Zambia in the west. People and products are transported by road and by rail. The world's attention is now focused on development around this Nakala Corridor. There are small communities and farms along the corridor. Most of the farms are small and self-sufficient. One of the main products is cassava, a type of yam. This land is the stage for the cooperation program. 540,000 square kilometers, 70% of Mozambique's territory is made up of savanna. That's about 1.4 times the entire landmass of Japan. The African tropical savanna has long been considered land that was difficult to farm. 
but the areas near the corridor receive between 800 and 1400 millimeters of rain every year. It is very unlikely that soil acidity or high aluminum content will be a problem. Now a town 400 kilometers inland from Nakala, Malema. Several trains arrive each day, and each time the station comes to life. A project here has suggested the potential for agricultural development along the Nakala corridor. A simple irrigation system was built with support from the government. The fields now produce products like beans, wheat, maize, potatoes, and onions. But even with good land, lack of technology and funding makes it hard for farmers to ensure sustainable and stable production of crops. The lack of transport infrastructure makes it difficult to send products to market. Increased harvests do not necessarily lead to increased income for the farmers. Dr. Kensuke Okada from Japan studied the agricultural situation. There's potential here. Both the researchers and the people at the Bureau for Agricultural Extension have a good grasp of what's required. That side of things is better than I expected. So if we can bring those factors together, I think this country can really take off. It has huge potential for agricultural development. By providing appropriate support, the chances are high that Mozambique's savanna will be transformed into rich agricultural farmland. Brazil already has its own success story. There too, tropical savanna was transformed into farmland. The Cerrado is an inland region of Brazil. It's hard to believe that just 40 years ago, this rich agricultural region was totally undeveloped. Japan played an important role in this miraculous success. In 1973, the USA stopped exporting soybeans. Japan needed them and began looking for a new source. Brazil was chosen. In September of the next year, Japan and Brazil started discussing the Agricultural Development Cooperation Program in the Cerrado. Japan provided technical and financial support for 20 years. The settlement project in the program became the focus of development in the Cerrado region. Today, 30 years later, Brazil has grown to become a major agricultural producer on par with the USA. Large and medium-sized farms drove the expansion of the Cerrado development. But there are also many successful small-scale farmers. A huge variety of crops is now grown there. These examples may guide agricultural development in Mozambique. Now let's look more closely at the Cerrado in Brazil, at the success of small-scale farms, agricultural extension, agricultural research, work being done to conserve the environment. All these topics will offer insights into how to develop agriculture in tropical savanna. Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, is at the heart of the Cerrado development region. It was a pre-planned city, and 2010 will be its 50th anniversary as the capital. As Brasilia was being built, then-President Kubitschek invited farmers of Japanese descent near the city of Sao Paulo to develop the area around the capital. 
the city needed agricultural output to cope with the influx of people that construction brought. In 1959, settlement began in the Vargem Bonita. Each plot was small, four hectares in size. Half a century after a difficult process of reclamation, crops are also grown in greenhouses. Cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and bell peppers are among the vegetables grown here now. Many farmers of Japanese descent continue to support agriculture in the area. Valderle Viana is 42. He learned farming by working since childhood on a farm run by Japanese Brazilians. He became independent at 28 and bought a small plot of land. He has four daughters, the oldest of whom is 22, and the youngest is one. É difícil falar. É difícil falar aqui. É difícil ter família reunido, unido e 23 anos aí. É difícil até. Many small farmers have succeeded like this in Brazil. The Incra settlement lies to the west of Brasilia and is also dominated by small farms. Over 3,000 households farm the land. Most have fields of less than five hectares and the work is done by the families. Theovigios. They grow vegetables on two of the four hectares they own. Intercropping pumpkins and corn on this field helps them to guard against disease and pests. They harvest an average of 15 boxes of green beans a day. Today they have 25 boxes. The shipping price of a box of green beans is 15 reals about $8.50. In 2009, they received a grant from one of the National Research Institutes and constructed a new irrigation system. Marcelo Pereira, an agricultural extensionist, explains the importance of using water wisely. Marcelo works for Emater, a state-run agricultural technology extension firm. They have offices in each of the settlements around Brasilia. Emater offers practical support to farmers. Everything from choosing crop varieties, spraying agrichemicals and fertilizer, to economic assistance. Detailed advice from agricultural extensionists supports Brazil's small farmers. Clay G. Race has just one hectare of land under cultivation. It's the tiniest farm in the area. As she has no tractor, she cannot till the land very deeply, so she focuses on growing leafy vegetables and herbs. Emeter's Roberta Matos explains how to use every inch of the field at her disposal. Porque aqui tem nutrientes, aqui tem nitrogênio, tem fósforo, tem potássio, né? Tem cálcio, tem magnésio. Então eu tô Devolvendo para a terra. Small farms demand ingenuity, 
and it is possible to use original farming methods, which are in great demand in the market these days. Fruit orchards are also common in Incra. Incra has a fruit processing plant on site. The plant processes 50 tons of strawberries, pineapples, and other fruit every month. Once it's possible to process and store crops, farmers can offer a stable production volume and achieve continuous sales. This leads to a stable income. The Taquara settlement is an hour east of Brasilia by car. It has larger farms compared to the Incra settlement. Fifty years ago, this was all undeveloped savanna. Now there is a proper infrastructure in place. This is one of the advantages of developing through settlement projects. Roads are laid towards the settlements, and water and electricity follow. As households live close together, it is easy to provide a cluster of public facilities. And since the farms are close together, it is also easy to organize agricultural cooperatives. The Taquara Agricultural Co-op is made up of 140 farming families. It's led by Mauricio, who explains some of what the organization does. Hoje a cooperativa reúne a produção dos pequenos produtores, padroniza, né, e manda para o mercado. Então a gente consegue, é, com o pequeno, consegue atingir também as grandes redes de mercado. Some products are sent to wholesale markets. Products are sold by the farmers themselves to small and medium supermarkets and retailers. Channels from producers to the market and retailers stabilize the income of small farmers. Naturally, this system did not appear overnight in Brazil. Yamagata remembers the challenge his father faced when they moved to the settlement 50 years ago. Dad worked really hard for the sake of us kids. That's why we continue to farm here today. Behind the success stories in the Cerrado region is the extremely hard work of the farmers. Brazil, now a huge agricultural nation, has some of the world's top research experts. The Brazilian Enterprise for Agricultural Research, or Embrapa, is an organization for the Ministry of Agriculture. Over 70% of its 2,000 researchers have PhDs. É uma rede de pesquisa enorme e com, com essa rede ela se gabaritou hoje como uma das grandes redes em, em, em agricultura tropical, em pesquisa em agricultura tropical. Embrapa has a close cooperative framework featuring national and international agricultural extension and training organizations. One of its divisions is the Cerrado Agricultural Research Center. It was established in 1975, during the early years of the Cerrado development. Today, it's a major center of tropical savanna agricultural research. When it was first set up, many Japanese specialists came for long-term stays to build the research lab's foundations. Nowadays, macro-level research also takes place here. 
Dr. Edson Sano analyzes satellite images in order to keep track of production. Uh, e principalmente combinando essa tecnologia de sensoramento remoto com uh, zoneamento, nós podemos uh, identificar as áreas mais favoráveis para o plantio e uh, produzir uh, esse alimento de uma forma uh, ambientalmente sustentável. The Embrapa Vegetable Research Center is also located in the Cerrado region. It's at the heart of Brazil's vegetable research. Improvement of seedlings. Strategies against agricultural diseases and pests. And technical research into agricultural processing. Efforts continue here day and night. Today, the center is announcing a new variety of carrot, planalto, The venue is packed with 200 producers, seed growers and researchers. The new variety is drawing a lot of attention because it has high beta-carotene content. And the seeds will be a lot cheaper than conventional ones. Dr. Nascimento explains how Embrapa could begin technical cooperation with Mozambique. Exato. A grande vantagem que, que a gente vê, é principalmente nesses dois países, né, no Moçambique e Brasil, são as condições climáticas, né, condições de solo, inclusive, são muito similares. Então, por exemplo, os materiais cultivares né, desenvolvidos pela Embrapa Hortaliças são prontamente disponíveis, utilizáveis naquele país, já são adaptados para aquelas condições. Né? E toda a tecnologia que nós utilizamos aqui no país para a produção de hortaliças pode ser levado para esse país com, assim, com aceitação muito interessante pelas condições serem muito similares. A constant fear with agricultural development is its negative effect on the environment. The Brazilian government introduced a number of strategies to conserve the environment in the Cerrado region. There were concerns that development would negatively impact the ecosystems of local animals. To prevent this, ecological corridors were established in the Cerrado to allow wild animals to move about. There's also a satellite observation system in place. Dr. Mesquita is in charge of this system and hopes to see the system spread worldwide. É, e nós vamos iniciar provavelmente no ano que vem uma parceria com a Jaica mesmo para é, capacitação de terceiros países, onde outros países poderão ser capacitados, treinados na utilização de sensores remotos para resolver problemas similares aos que o Brasil enfrentou ou ainda enfrenta na proteção e conservação do meio ambiente. Success in the Cerrado is the precious outcome of many years of cooperation between Brazil and Japan. While no simple comparison is possible, there is good reason to believe that the expertise acquired in Brazil can also be applied to agricultural development in the African tropical savanna. Brazil's fourth city, Salvador. Its history goes back to colonial times and offers a glimpse of the long history between Brazil and Africa. At the Embrapa, Cassava and Tropical Fruit Center, located near Salvador, a workshop is being held. The training course is sponsored by the governments of Brazil and Japan. Agricultural workers have been invited from some African countries. 
Three participants are from Mozambique. They are eager to gain new agricultural knowledge, which can be applied back home. As impressions are positive because prestamos um contacto direto com muitas tecnologias, tecnologias facilmente podem ser replicadas nas nossas condições para aqueles produtores de, de, de renda baixa. Trocamos experiências muito, muito, muito importantes. Japan, Brazil and Mozambique. Young shoots are growing into a new history between these three nations. The signing ceremony in Mozambique is completed. Representatives from all three countries speak enthusiastically about the future. Há uma enorme expectativa que se criou desde que os três países decidiram avançar para criar este programa triangular. Com, com determinação, nós vamos é, conseguir. O exemplo, eu me, eu, 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 eu me lembro e, e tomo como exemplo o projeto do Procerrado, projeto que a Jaica de Cooperação Técnica, desenvolvido pela Jaica no Brasil, no Cerrado Brasileiro, que era também uma região remota à época, we mustn't be overly optimistic. Nobody thinks that we can automatically transfer what we achieved in Brazil to Africa. There will be problems, but I know that we can overcome them. Representatives of Mozambique, Brazil and Japan are having a lively discussion on ways to implement the agricultural development cooperation in the African Tropical Savanna program. Fears for food security and the activities of international investment funds have intensified competition for agricultural land. Nevertheless, Japan, Brazil and Mozambique have embraced a new development model that aims to improve life for local residents as well as conserving the environment. A long road lies ahead with many difficulties along the way. But creating sustainable agricultural development in the tropical African savanna is an achievement that will help the whole world. With sights set on a brighter future for the world, an exciting new challenge is just beginning.